the people have spoken and I'm here to help. Don't worry. How you doing everyone? DMC back with another video. And today I'm here to help those that are struggling with the new Kakarot update and maybe don't really know how to get their save from the old gen to the new gen. So first thing you want to do is boot up the first thing you want to do is boot up your 4 Kakarot edition of Dragon Ball Z. Now, if that has confused you a bit, that's the edition that was on the club, official club page for Dragon Ball. Uh, that's the old gen version that says in brackets, for upgrade. <laughs> so what you want to do, first off, is just load any save, preferably the save that you would like to take over, unless of course you want to test all this first. And then once you've loaded up your save, you don't even really need to do it, and you just need to go into the system, save it, again, save it in a slot that you're going to remember. And now, if at this point you don't have a save, and you're maybe thinking your save has been lost, or it's just not showing up properly, go to manage games and add-ons, check your save data. Now see if you click on your name, it'll come up here. I would recommend that you only delete it from the console, that way, if you have got a cloud save that you've maybe lost, it it will get re-downloaded when you go on the game. So, yeah, if you don't have a save, delete your save from the console, see if it loads a cloud save by going back on it to Kakarot. And then, yeah, if it loads your save, fo follow the same process from the start. Right, once you've got a save on this 4 Kakarot edition, you want to back out, go back to your home, and then you want to go onto your XS version of Kakarot with the Wii symbol. So once you've came back onto this, at this point it should load up with no problems. You should press your start button, sign in, begin your profile, and then it will check your system data and see that you've upgraded the state. Just like that. You're in. And just so you can see that we're definitely in. And that should be you fixed. Now, if that is you fixed, thank goodness. <laughs> Hopefully you can go and enjoy Bardock or whatever it is you may want to do. Maybe just check out the next gen features. But for those of you, again, that are maybe confused about the cloud saves, I'm going to do this for you, right? So, like I said earlier, if you were to come in here, do not, and I repeat, do not delete your save data from everywhere unless you want to completely start from scratch. <laughs> So, delete it, delete it from the console, right, then when you go back onto Kakarot, it will load your cloud save. Now if your cloud save was from before the next gen update came out, you're obviously going to have to go on the 4 upgrade version again, save it, and then take that save over to next gen. But, if you had a cloud save on the new gen version, it should just work like this. And then it'll sync your cloud save. And again, there we go. Same saves. Everything's working tickety boo. So yeah, I'd, this was just a wee quick update video to try and help people because I put a poll out last night, as you saw at the start of the video. And obviously a few people were confused as to how you actually go about this. So. Yeah, I'll put a, wee, put a wee thing up here, step one, get save, step two, cloud save, <laughs> step three, but yeah, um, like I said, hopefully that's everybody sorted now, you can go and get Bardock, you can go and enjoy the next gen update, whatever it may be, but if you do need any other help with anything or you're a little bit confused as to what you need to do don't be afraid to leave me a little comment down below i do try and reply to every comment i get and yeah big thanks to all the recent subscribers everybody that's been engaging with the channel it is greatly appreciated feels like dmc gaming's finally starting to make a little mark there and yeah as always until the next time dmc 